Peace and love. Friday, January 27th, fired up to do a juice. Staying on the point, just want to get a quick juice on vid. Show everybody again how fast and easy it is to put this stuff together and juice. People are saying, Chris, what do you juice? What, what's your recipes? <laughs> And, uh, of course, I was that way when I first started. But now I just fake everything. So, today, a good example of getting down to the wire and running out. I'm out of carrot and apple and everything else. So, I'm going to juice a pear and some greens. I've never juiced a pear. I'm sure it'll be fine. Do a little bok choy here. This is really high on the Andy scale, aggregate nutrient density. You know, people talking about milk and dairy, and I'm just, I'm real. I don't think I'll ever engage in that conversation again. It's just, it's, uh, it's just ludicrous. I mean, for instance, this bok choy on the Andy scale, the aggregate nutrient density index chart. This is in the 800s. So, let's say 8 ounces or 4 ounces of hamburger, lean, 95%, I think it was, is 29 on the Andy scale. Factor in the, the fat, mucus forming, acidic in the blood, uh, just, you know, makes it real slick in our digestive tract. I mean, there's just no comparison whatsoever. And the amount of nutrients in here compared to beef or dairy that's loaded with casein they make glue out of, there's just no, <laughs> it's just comical. It's comical that people, it just means that people have not watched the documentaries. Two great books. You know, Suzanne Summers from Three's Company. Her new book called Knockout after she was misdiagnosed with full body cancer. She interviews all these fantastic dollar doctors, um, and it's just a fantastic book. I mean, that and the China study by T. Colin Campbell, which was a uh, it was like a 29-year study of vegetarian versus meat eaters. Um, so enough said. Happy to be here. Friday. It's beautifully overcast today. It's cold out, and I'm very happy, happy, happy to be here. All right, let's rock and roll. So buy a juicer. If you don't have a juicer, buy a juicer. And you too can enjoy bok choy. Bok choy juice, mmm. But again, coffee or bok choy juice? Which would your body prefer? I've been saying to my son since he was four, I don't know, son, give your body what it needs. Drink water. I, I always handed him water, handed him water, handed him water. To this day, he rarely drinks pop. And if he opens a pop, he rarely finishes it. He always wants to buy a monster, and I've always said no for years. Finally, he has his own money, he buys a monster, or I get him one. And the happy thing is, he never finishes that thing. You know, I tell him what's in it. It's awesome. Give your body what it needs. It's not coffee. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to program myself <laughs> with. Uh, all right, let's hope this pear saves the day with its sugar. Go, baby, go. Give me more, give me more.
Hey, this should be strange. Mmm. Oh, that is not good. <laughs> but, loaded with a lot of nutrients, so let's pound it down. Again, bok choy, I mean, if you're going to drink a green, it's mild. It's kind of like a cucumber. Not as good as cucumber, but better than celery. And bok choy compared to celery and uh, whatever I just said, it's nowhere near, uh, they're nowhere near a bok choy in the Andes Kill. So, here we go. Well, that is where a lemon comes in very handy. Here's to juicing. Here's to live foods in your blood in five minutes. Have a great weekend. Peace and love.